let's have this example problem 50 determine the actual forces in members dc and fg of the thrust shown when d is 5 meters can these forces be found when d is 2.5 explain your response so this is the given thrust if you check this thrust here this is determinate no? you compute the number of reactions expected it is uh, four one ruler one ruler then two it at this pin here then you determine the number of bars then it should be equal to two times number of joints so this is determinate and when d is five it is stable then first let's put the reactions expected reactions although cx is expected to be zero because there is no inclined load so that's part supposedly of the unknown reaction so four supposedly but we expect zero reactions at horizontal reaction at c then we these members are two force bodies so then we will call the stress in bc as sbc and in cd dc as sdc the slope is 5 vertical 2.5 horizontal so can be reduced to 1 horizontal 2 vertical then square root of 5 hypotenuse so summation forces x equals 0 then we conclude that sbc equals sdc because they have the same slope then summation forces y equals 0 at c then we have r sub c plus 2 times sdc times 2 over square root of 5 times 2 because it SBC is also equal to SDC. Then we can express SDC in terms of R sub C. It is negative square root of 5 over 4 of R sub C. Then having expressed SDC in terms of R sub C, we consider the whole system. We sum up moment about A so that we can express RE in terms of R sub C. So take note that the these loads are symmetrically applied so it's like 20 20 20 60 acting at g that's the external equivalent load so r sub c times 5 plus r e times 10 equals 60 it's here so 7.5 the moment arm is 7.5 if you compute the moments one by one the result is the same as 60 times 7.5 so simplifying r e equals negative 0.5 r c plus 45 then since re is now in terms of rc we section this uh, portion here so that we sum up moment about h equals zero so considering right part of aa right part of section aa all forces here to the right then these are the other members cut fhg sshg and sdh but I will not name this because the plan is to sum up moment about H equals zero. So they are not involved in the moment equation. So considering right of AA and we sum up moments about H equals zero, counterclockwise positive. So we have a horizontal component of SDC, which is SDC times 1 over square root of 5 times 2.5 or RE, sorry, uh, counterclockwise positive so r sub e times 5 then equals no? because this our horizontal component is clockwise the vertical component of sdc is also clockwise and the loads are clockwise so equals first horizontal sdc times 1 over square root of 5 times 2.5 we sum up moment about h for the vertical component of sdc sdc times 2 over square root of 5 times 2.5 also then plus 20 times 2.5 then plus 20 times 5 equals so that's the right side so simplifying and substituting the value of re which is quantity negative 0.5 so 5 times re negative 0.5 rc plus 45 then combining sdc that's 3 square root of 5 over 2 sdc then this value here is 150 so we have negative 2.5 r sub c plus 2 to 5 equals so substitute the value of sdc which is negative square root of 5 rc over 4 into this equation 
10 plus 150. So simplifying, we have negative 2.5 RC plus 75, 2 to 5 minus 150 is 75, equals negative 1.875 R sub C. So from here, we can solve R sub C. R sub C is equal to 120 kilonewtons. So knowing R sub C, we can now compute stress in DC from this expression here, negative square root of 5 over 4 times 120. So since it is negative, DC is compression. So SDC is 67.08 kilonewtons compression. Then for force in FG, so let's section this portion. Let's call that section uh, BB. But before that, let's solve for R sub E, which is equal to negative 0.5 of RC plus 45. So negative 0.5 of 120 plus 45. R sub C is negative 15 kilonewton. So it should be downward. But let's just assume it is upward, but this sign is negative 15. So let's section this part BB so that we can solve FG. So these are the involved forces. We have SFG and this member here. All these two members are not named because they pass through the the plan is to sum up moments about D equals zero, considering forces to the right of BB. So they are not involved in the moment equation so that we can solve the stress in FG. And right of section BB, summation moment about H equals zero, counterclockwise positive. So we have SFG times 2.5. Then plus RE, which is negative 15 times 2.5 also, equals 20 times 2.5. So solving for SFG, SFG is positive 35, so it is tension. So these are the forces, member forces of SDC and SFG. Having found these forces, let's answer the third the question, can these forces be found when D is 2.5? The answer is no, because when D is equal to 2.5, the stress becomes unstable. So that's the the answer. So it will become unstable when D is equal to this 2.5 here. So you may continue analyzing when D is 2.5, and you will find out that, that the stress becomes unstable, or it will lead to inconsistent results. So that's it.